Welcome back to the platform. We're lucky to be joined by Dale Ryder. How are you, man? Very I am fabulous. You're looking very fabulous. <laughs> now, what happened with the bangs? We don't see it front and centre anymore. And yeah, I quit. What happened? How, why? Oh. Did someone piss you off? Yeah, they always piss me off. Yeah, like um, well, you know, you've got four people with four different, you know, five people with five different ideals and aspirations, and I just meant too much of a burden. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm just too busy having fun. And it, it becomes less precious, you know, the world domination isn't, isn't it's become redundant now, you know, I, I just don't need, I don't um, need the pressure. From, the from the outside yeah. looking in, that, that's a huge band. Boom Crash Opera are a huge band, they're on the radio all the time, but what's it? A, a lot of what's ticking a, bits, mate. That's what, what I mean, like, what's, yeah, it, what's it like again, being in that? Oh, it's a pain in the ass. Yeah, that's, really? I, I, You've got to understand different people. You know, it different, sounds easy, but it's not, is it? No, I it's mean, like being on a team, I've you know. I've toured with 30 years and not everyone gets on with everyone. I know, years. and people expect you to, yeah. and you go, yeah. you're not really friends outside the band. So we, would you, we weren't as bad as that, but... Would you yeah. be on stage, like, in the middle of a song, and you're thinking, I wouldn't mind oh, just smacking that bass player? There were times, like, that guy, oh, I just want to smash him. Yeah. yeah, you that know, guy's a what, and they say things, and we had this thing where you never have a fight before you go on, you always have it afterwards. Was it, was it something that was satisfied, you having those hits and stuff, or was there other... You mean Boom Crash? Yeah. Oh, no, we made great noise together, that was, that was a fact, I mean, yeah. they, they were... Without the five of us together, we didn't make the same noise. But, but like I said, you know, things things just change. People change, and the parameters got too, too, too wide. Too hard to, to set. Yeah, you just, yeah. you know, what what you like is not necessarily what I like. Especially when you get older, you become really set in your ways. And there's more. I had other challenges like family, and yep. and I wanted to. To spend time with that. And after a while, it's no fun, is it? If you don't like, like it, no, it probably is. No, it's it gives, not, it it's not. But they've got a good singer now. Yeah. Well, mate, you're a front and centre and you're an amazing singer, and uh, you let's, guys are right, let's, let's play another incredible you track. You guys are right, the kid. When you're alone, my eyes they barely meet, arms and legs forgotten what to do. And all these orchestras of voices in my head just follow me and follow me. Listen to it. So if it's hurting you like it's hurting me, if it's breaking you like it's breaking me, and if you're loving me like I'm loving you too, come on, talk about it. Yeah, I'm Good memories seeing either the track like Great. that. Oh, that track's amazing. I liked that was, it. That was fun. Was good. That was really good fun. That was um, Billy Zane's wife who said, who my, my manager said, look, we need you to do some acting. And of course, I can't act. You know? And she was doing all this acting. She could cry <laughs> on cue. And she just sat there and she'd have, we'd have to be quiet. And she'd go, <laughs> and actually cry. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's a wow for me. So you just said then that you, you don't think you can act, but I mean, what was it like being a front man out there on stage and did, what, you, did you feel comfortable in, in with that? Shopping, when you're not yeah. getting on. I was scared shitless, to be honest. Yeah, people said, oh, look, look, look at him. He prowls like a, like, a, like a panther. No, I was just too scared to look at the audience and I'd just try to walk away. Yeah, yeah people mistook that for arrogance, for all kinds of stuff, and it was yeah. actually me, a really shy person. So, mm. musical influences for you, I mean, forgetting being crash off. Cat Stevens, David Bowie, yeah. Stevie Wonder, Santana. Well, you've just that's about that's, that's all it. the legends, and then and then everything else in between. But basically, those. How about well, Blondie? She was good. No, I'm not. Call a... me. Hello, <laughs> you me. We should have a segment of this thing, you know. <laughs> I should have bought a guitar. I mean, oh, well, hey, we could have. You've been on stage with me before. Yeah, I've been up there ten times. I've got your ratings yeah, up. Yeah. John Caster. <laughs> John Caster. It would have been a terrible show if he didn't get up. Uh, yeah. In Warwick's mind. And I say, you just can't get it up. Oh, you just can't get it up. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Brian Maddox and you. <laughs> so that's tell us about those shows. You did the Absolutely 80s. Absolutely 80s. How's that's, that going? That's fun. I mean, yep, you know, yep. that is unadulterated fun. Yeah. It's just no pressure. Much better. We just take the crap out of each other. Yeah. Um, Brian just is what Brian is. How funny is Brian? And yeah, well, he's never in the same world as we are. <laughs> you know that he's the best, isn't he? But he's never in the same. Like, he'll go and stand on stage and go. He's a trip in that boy. He's unique. Right? I love him. Are you putting this on or is this in your head? He goes, Sometimes I put it on. And sometimes <laughs> it's I was in on my head. I was on Celebrity Apprentice with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's he, he too. Yeah, no, well, he, he had got, bad stories about yeah, that. Yeah, man. I got evicted first and he got evicted second. Yeah, he and didn't like that at all. He yeah. said they, they pick on you. 37 mm. takes. Yeah, yeah, they, want pissed, they want to get pissed off with everyone. Yeah. And of course, Scotty Khan as well. Kids in Scotty the kitchen. Khan. Scotty Khan's the, 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 the captain. Scotty's yeah. good in yeah. me. So, what sort of stuff's coming up for you then? You mentioned before something about a rock boat. Doing rock boat with. I've actually got two bands. I do the Absolutely 80s thing and that's the pub thing. And then I do. You're playing with Foreigner. 
Yeah, How good with, that? With, with a band called The Voices, with Jason Singh from Taxi Ride and Reese Maston from X Factor. Yeah, he was Mark good. Mark Gable from Choir Boys. It's more of a corporate thing. Yep. Called this the super group or something, I don't know. Wow. It's called The Voices. We and we're doing uh, The Rock Boat with Foreigner and where does Romantics. The, where does the boat go to? Goes to, visit boat, go to Darling. New Caledonia. New Caledonia. Wow. I might get a birth on that man and Lisa. For a week. We only got one gig and then the rest is just drinking the and eating. Boat. It's going to be great. Wow. I'm the sex goddess and you're, you're, you're the rock boat. I might get a yep. birth on that. Well, there's 40 bands on. Really? On yeah, the... yeah. There's like, in, you know, there's a whole bunch of bands on playing at different yeah. venues and that I don't think good. it will build boats that big. It's going to be fun. I've never been on a. Mate, what on a big what advice would you have for, for a musician out there today that looks and sees what you've achieved and thinks that Jeez, would be unbelievable? It's so hard now, man. Everything's changed. You know, the, it's all. It's all um, digi. It's all manipulated, isn't it? Yeah. A lot of voice. Yeah, they're, but they're made up of stars, aren't they? Record companies aren't investing in, in new talent. They're just not. It's just not enough money in it. Um, television programs, you. You name it, they're just not investing in. And the demographic of the world is changing. So many people moving around, cultures clashing. Music seems to have just gone. That's why bands. A lot of, a lot of kids are interested in politics more than music now. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's why. I've noticed is that why bands, you notice on YouTube. Is that why bands they like, tour now for so long? That's where the big money is, isn't it? Well, you need money. Touring. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 in the old days you could sell records, but now you now can't because it's, it's, it's all, all digital. It's all online. Yeah. Now, you mentioned before that you used to dream that you'd see yourself on stage being a musician. Have you always been a big dreamer about other things in life? Yeah. <laughs> I like thinking. Yeah. Uh, I love thinking. Thinking's, thinking's great. So what's like future dreams and still any other? Uh, my wife keeps saying I should finish that record that I started 30 years ago. That I want to write a record. A and it's, but it's, you know, I've got really, uh, um, I procrastinate a lot. And not because I've got incredibly high ideals, but it's just that I'm, I'm just lazy. Don't have the ethic. <laughs> you know? I just haven't had, I've well, never had the ethic and I, I need to be pushed. Right. And once I'm least, pushed, I do at least, it. At least you're honest. Yeah. Do, you like, do you like Deep Purple? I love Deep Purple. Oh, good. Smoke yeah, in the water. Good. and Smoke in the water. Highway star. I love that. Yeah. Well, yeah. mate, seriously, on behalf of like just a music fan in general like myself, I thank you for everything you've done because there were oh, some great welcome. tunes. And uh, when yep. you're in the car at night and you hear certain songs come on, you just turn it up and sing along, including this. We love it. Mate, where was that shot? Oh, uh, that was Darwin. Darwin? <laughs> you go down the hill on an esky. Yeah, the people who got there, down a the hill, it's called eskying. Wow. And I'd, I'd noticed that for the first time in that, at that gig, and it was like crazy. Like and I'm talking 30, 40 people, mainly men, stupid men, just plowing through the crowd on eskies. <laughs> a couple of knee reconstructions. <laughs> Absolutely. That doesn't sound too safe. Yeah, that's it funny. was insane. That's, that's funny. But it was, it, it was like 45 degrees or something, you know, it was wow. crazy hot. So yeah. where, where can we find you now? Like, you still have a website and everything? Is it yeah, uh, The Voices, The Voice plug. of Boom Crash Opera, The Voice of X Boom Crash Opera, or whatever. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm, yeah, just look up Pop Shop or look up The Voices and you'll find me. Yeah. All right, man. Come and see me. Yeah. Come and see me. Well, look, Come thank you so me. much for coming on the show. I mean, you're one of my heroes. I love, I love your music and uh, it's been great to have you on here and thank you for coming on. Thank, thank you, both. Come to come on the platform. We love you, mate. We love Warwick Hepper. We do. And when we come back, we're going to meet one of our sponsors, uh, Huss from Car Lision. Actually, are we going to meet two of our sponsors? Yeah, we're going to meet well. Rabi too. We're going to meet Rabi from RS Chase Lawyers. RS Chase Lawyers. They will be here to have a chat, so uh, keep happening. watching.